This is Jesse. And this is Joseph. It's Riley. Really? Yeah. And this is this week's Rampage News. Hey, have you been to the haunted house? I, uh, I worked the haunted house. Let's take it to This Week in Rhyme Nation. Senior beta inductions were on Monday. Let's check it out. How does it feel being inducted into beta? Honestly, it feels pretty great. Uh, it feels good. I'm happy to be in senior beta now. Um... It just, you know, feels great. What are you most excited for this year? I'm pretty excited for the state convention this year. I'm really excited about uh, state competition, ready to, you know, show what I can do. Happy for that. I'd like to tell you a story. It's the story of Dr. Philip Gorman. Dr. Philip Gorman was an idealistic young school teacher who thought he was going to change the world through math. But it came to find out students didn't like math and they didn't like him. So, what did you think of the uh, haunted house? I thought it was pretty good, you know, except for it was kind of obvious, cheesy, in fact, but it was good. It was pretty cool, a lot of people popping up. It was really scary. It was scary. What about you, little one? Super scary. It was, it was, it was pretty disturbing. Uh, Scoopin definitely has an air for things like this. I agree. <laughs> house. Well, it was pretty good, kind of corny in some parts, but it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty amazing. It was scary. Like, as it was going through, I got a little jittery, you know. All the people coming out at me, and I, wow. <laughs> That's all I could say. I almost threw up on this guy's face. I was really scared. She kept pushing me. So, yeah. It was better than I actually expected. Yeah. Were you scared? Kind of. Yes. A little bit. No, definitely not. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I don't get scared very easily, but yeah, it was pretty nice. Yes! Yes, I screamed bloody murder all throughout the yeah, whole thing. So, Cade, what was your uh, favorite part? Uh, I like the part where you were walking down the aisle and there was like a TV and there was a camera filming you and you could see like somebody behind you and the entire time you were walking by, like the portraits would go down and somebody would like come out and scare you and stuff. I gotta say, I, I liked it whenever the paintings came down. Chainsaws. <laughs> All of it. My favorite part would have to be in the meat room. I guess it's where the egg was supposed to be. And they're like chowing down the meat. And it's pretty, pretty gruesome. Pretty cool. What was your favorite part? Yes. Yes. Hi, what are your names? My name is Greg, and this is George. Did you get any screamers tonight? I had two people try and exit. And then I was told to back away. Harry. Mary. Uh, did y'all get any screamers tonight? Well, of course. Yeah. What is your name? I'm just your average lunch lady. Did you get any screamers tonight? I got a couple old ladies. Seem pretty terrified. What's for lunch? Just something fried. Have you ever noticed that I have, like, a thing that you can identify me by? Well, you always seem to dress like a mix between a hipster and a lumberjack. Uh, no, I, um, I was talking about my hair. Oh, well, y y your hair, yeah, that's, that's nice, yeah. too. Yeah, um, let's mm -hmm. take it to Dear Patty.
This week, we have a very emotional Dear Patty. Dear Patty, I have come to realize I don't have a thing. Like everyone has a thing that people know them by. Coach Porter, Miss Johnson, Mrs. Bennett, even students. I feel as though I have lost myself. I don't have an identity. Who am I? Where do I need to search to find my way again? Love, an unknown identity. Um, have you seen Coach Porter anywhere? I am Coach Porter. No, you're not. Oh, okay. He's Coach Porter. Miss Johnson, I have a question. The answer is no. Capital N, big O. Always no. Hey, Miss Bennett, can I talk to you? What now? Oh. <laughs> Playoffs start this week. Um, no, they don't. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Let's take it to sports with Jesse Bully. Go. The Varsity Rams got off to a great start in the last game, defeating Bells by the score of 56-14. Offensively, the Rams were led by Wyatt Mare with 119 yards on 11 carries, scoring four touchdowns. Willow Winborn also rushed for 90 yards on seven carries with two touchdowns. The Rams were led in receiving by Trent Nolan with four catches for 59 yards and Winborn with one catch for 44 yards. Reed Collum completed six throws for 109 yards and a touchdown. Defensively, the Rams were led by Jarrell Orr with four tackles. The team will play against Gunner tonight for possession of the district championship. What does this game mean for the team? Man, it means we've put in tons of hard work, and uh, it's not over yet. We've got to keep putting work in, got to keep grinding every week. It'll be a, it'll be, it's a huge game tonight for the program, the community, the team, uh, just the morale. And, uh, man, I can't wait to see what the uh, score is. 48 minutes of giving them heck, and uh, we'll see what happens. What has it taken to get to this point? Like I said before, man, just tons of hard work, lots of teamwork. You know, the teams can't, like, last year we had some issues with teams not being together and not everybody working together all the time and people giving up. And uh, this year it's been four quarters of football, and uh, I'm just super proud of the guys, and uh, we'll see what happens. Last Friday, the varsity volleyball team played against Bells, losing in four games. The girls were led in hitting by Kirsten Marshall and by Paige Porter. Brittany Williams led in assists, and Katie O'Neill led in digs. This Tuesday, the team wrapped up their season against Pottsboro, losing in three games. The five seniors on the team were honored before the game for senior night. So what's been the most challenging part of the cross-country season? Probably having to wake up early and be committed to everyday working. Probably all the practices and having to constantly keep going and working at it. How do you think you'll do on the regional course? I think I'll do great if I just keep working at it. I think I'll do all right since we've been practicing so well and trying really hard. Thanks for tuning in for this week's edition of the KX Dose Nightly Report. It's the Rampage News. Are you positive? Yeah. We'll see you next week.